Jin definitely like creates a really great vibe on the sets, so I think that that's going to be missed on on future projects. She always kind of makes everybody. I think because she <laughs> just cover your ears for a second. I think because she like just acts so crazy and genuine that she makes other people around her feel free to be themselves, and that's something that uh, is kind of rare to find. Uh, could you just talk personally about what it was like for you to say goodbye to this? And also, Australian fans can't wait for the film. Can you have any message for the Australian fans? Yeah, I think it was, you know, for all of us, it was extremely emotional to, to you know, to have this project come to an end. And um, I think we're all really lucky to have made such good friends and um, shared such a, a special experience together. And um, yeah, I mean, it was a it was a crazy world to be thrown into a, an amazing um, project to be a part of, you know, and, and and to really grow up together. I mean, I think you have the power of the media. Uh, a lot in this movie and its influence over people and, and how, um, how powerful of a, of a tool or weapon that can be. Um, you have the dangers of extreme control and power and, and suppression of, of cultures with, through the government. Um, and I think those are probably, the, and, and, and glorified violence, I think, is another thing that uh, is a pretty big, especially like in the first uh, couple of Hunger Games. Um, I think those are pretty big. And the dangers, like the separation of like the, the 99%, and the 1%, and, and that, that disparity, and it's growing, and you know, it's a, a bit of a cautionary tale about you know, the way things could go and everything, I think. I think that some of the ideas that we really get into in Mockingjay Part 2 are finally the consequences and the complexities of war, the things that Josh was speaking about early, earlier, and uh, the, the idea of the sort of gray quality of war, too, that it's, it's confusing and it's complex, and it's never an easy decision um, whether you know a war is needed or not, and even if one is needed, there's going to be consequence. Um, and you know, unfortunately, we're surrounded by war all the time, and so I think the themes hit. Uh, the capital has complete control over the media in the first movie, and Katniss begins to break that with Peta at the end of the first movie, and um, over the course of this revolution. Uh, who is in charge of the media and what they do with it becomes enormously important to the outcome. Yeah, this is a question for Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, do you think that Katniss actually believes in the revolution in, the, in this final movie, or do you think she's just playing her role and just kind of getting sucked into doing what's expected of her? Um, do you think she actually knows what she's doing anymore, or she's just being manipulated? I think that for a long time, I wouldn't say that it was manipulated, I would, I would call it more of a sense of survival. Um, I don't think that there was really believable hope of a revolution um, at the beginning of Katniss's story. I think she was trying to save her sister and then she was trying to save herself and then PETA and um, waking up in District 13 changed things, losing PETA changed things and um, I believe that she, um, kind of grows into her position and takes control of her own destiny and in that the revolution. So something that I, I really love about the second movie is that's when she takes power and, and decides that she does want to be the Mockingjay, that, that she does believe in this cause, um, but it took many years and many books uh, to get there. It's also there's a difference between being a warrior and being the symbol of a revolution. And yeah. Katniss is inherently a, a character who wants to take action and to do what needs to be done. And I think doesn't always want to have to be, um, you know, the sound bite or the poster child. Um, so I think she might be willing to give up being the Mockingjay, but not being a not give up being a revolutionary. Exactly. <laughs> For me, it's been, you know, it's been amazing, and, and coming to Comic-Con is like the central hub for fandom, and, and so to kind of step into this world and, and get to, like, we just the big Hall H um, panel and everything, and it's so cool, and, and to bring these movies that people are so passionate about to them and, and get to have the whole cast here and get to have some kind of interaction with them is uh, it's really rewarding for us. You know, Gail's sort of right where he wants to be right now. You know, I mean, he's, he's an emotional strong-willed, independent, angry young man. You know, a lot of things have happened to him, um, you know, that have made him feel the way he feels. And uh, his biggest motivation, his biggest drive now is to take down the capital. You know, that's, that's all he's really thinking about. And I think his focus becomes less about Katniss and more about winning this war. 
Uh, for Jennifer, Josh, and Liam, how do you feel like your characters have evolved over these past four films? I mean, <clears throat> for me, like, I was really attracted to Peter's kind of arc throughout the story. You know, I think he starts as um, more quiet and, and kind of not so secure in himself and, you know, had like a hard family life and everything. And, and then once, you know, he kind of confesses love to Katniss and he sort of empowers himself in a way. Um, and then, and then in the in the in Mockingjay one and two, you know, he gets pretty messed up. He gets taken in by the Capitol and is tortured and brainwashed and all these things. And um, and then to kind of have him come out of that and have the recovery process, a really like a kind of up and down arc for him. And and so uh, it was great for me to play. And it was really fun to kind of get to show all those the experience that he has. Uh, the evolution of Prim has really been amazing for me to read in the books and kind of try and portray as best as I can. I feel like her evolution is really amazing to watch because she really grows up a lot and she's really there for Katniss in uh, the last two films, I think.